jacket, $40. Tribe Provisions, two person hammock, $40. <sighs> the view we're gonna have out in the mountains when the solar eclipse comes, priceless. What are you spending your dough on? Hello humans and welcome to the Daily Think Share. My name is Zach. I'm here to bring to you what I've been thinking about, sharing about, talking about with other people that have been inspiring me that I don't have time to teach a math class. If you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe. So right now I'm laying in my uh, Tribe Provisions hammock that me and Alyssa are going to be camping in in the next um, two weeks. So the solar eclipse is coming August 21st. Get ready. For those of you up in New England, you're gonna be seeing about 60%. We are going out to Yellowstone and the Grand Tetons to see 100%. So, um, we've been having to order a bunch of this stuff. So for example, this jacket was about 40 bucks. It's it's ducked down, but it was, it was a knockoff we got on Amazon. A comment was made as I was trying it on and realizing it wasn't the perfect fitting thing. I, this is just cause it's like scrunched down, but it doesn't completely make it to my wrist when I'm, when I'm sitting upright. I thought it was really interesting thinking about the fact that one of the points we said was there are worse ways to spend $40. You know, if you think about it, so often in life we are just buying stuff. We're buying stuff to fulfill needs. I see all the time on YouTube people are doing hauls of stuff. He was so right about it. I think so often we are buying stuff just to fulfill this need that we've bought into. You know, the marketing out there has just told us we need a bunch of stuff that we don't need. What I invite you to do, as it may seem also like this is a purchase that is not necessary, consider taking on a hobby or life experiences that are worth spending money on. So if we look back on our lives, our lives are really a series of events. They're a series of experiences that we've had and the main goal is really to make as many of those intense experiences as possible. For example, Alyssa and I are going out to the Tetons in Yellowstone. She's never been there, I've been there before. We're going to see the solar eclipse 100%. It hasn't been around for 36 years. Definitely break $1,000 on pl between plane tickets, equipment, and just really making sure we get a really unbelievable week that we'll never forget for the rest of our lives. Cause at the end of our lives, all that we have left is our experiences. You know, we can't, we can't take our gadgets with us. We can only pass them down to people. So if you're interested in living a life that you're gonna look back on your deathbed and say, wow, I really left it all on the court. Took my time, I took my money and I used them the best way possible. I invite you to consider how do you spend your money? Are you spending it on stupid stuff that you really don't need? Are you spending it on things so that you can have an unbelievable experience? Are you spending it on a jacket because it looks nice or because it gets the job done so that you can go you know, sleep in 30 or 40 degree weather so that you can camp out the night before a really unbelievable uh, scientific phenomenon? This is just what came up as their worst ways to spend $40 the other night, and I wanted to share it with you. If you enjoyed this, give it, a, give it a thumbs up. If you liked it, if you found it useful, give it a thumbs up. If you want to hear more from me, I invite you to subscribe. You can hit the subscribe button below or put an icon up here. And uh, you know, let me know what are, what are your plans for the solar eclipse coming up on August 21st. Have you been stocking up stuff so that you can go travel and, and make a road trip out of it? Uh, yeah, cut that. Yeah, thank you for watching. Stay weird.